Hey guys, Jason Riker, Crazy Blessed Fishing. Check it out. So, um, as you saw this weekend, took a guy out from church. Um, actually had a pretty good day fishing on Saturday. Had a tournament on Sunday. After this video, you can see the fish that I caught on Saturday. We had nine and a half, ten pounds in the box only in two fish and just could not stick another fish. I don't know. It was kind of crummy, but it was still all in all a good weekend. So the bites changed up a little bit. Have slowed down some, but if you want to go out and just do some fun fishing, um, the dirty jigs, football head, go-to color, three-eighths of an ounce. Man, this thing was just whacking them on Saturday. Um, paired that up with a Yamamoto twin tail grub with cinnamon with purple flake. Man, that thing was just on fire on Saturday. It was almost every flip, there was a fish. Um, missed quite a few fish, was talking more than I was paying attention, but it was just, it was doing well. The other thing is we're still catching them on the Tennessee Shad jerk bait. It's a Mega Bass Vision 110 plus one. You can see that bigger bill on there. That thing's still doing pretty well. I mean, it's not as well as it was, but it's still doing really, really well for what it is with a jerk bait bite. Um, just make sure you're running a regular jerk bait rod. This is a destroyer, Mega Bass Destroyer 110 Special. Pair that up with an Alibaran reel with 10 pound fluoro. Finding out a lot of the guys are using the wrong rod whenever they're jerk bait fishing. Not necessarily saying you've got to have that rod, but you've got to have something roughly six foot eight to six foot ten, medium power, and it's got to have a stiff tip, but it's got to be have some give in that backbone to keep those fish pinned. Um, absolute best rod that I've found at the best price point is the 610 X Pride by Shimano. Pair that up with a Corrado reel, uh, Corrado 70 to be exact. And man, this, I'm in love with this rod and the price point is not too extreme. So like I say, get you a good jerk bait rod and you'll enjoy it a lot more whenever you're fishing your jerk baits. Next, what we caught the couple of fives on was swim bait. That is a 2.8 Kitek in Sexy Shad with a 16th ounce Mega Bass head. That's the head there. Just really, really like that head. It, it's really light, so if the wind's blowing more than just a few miles an hour, it becomes a problem. But if there's just a little bit of roughage on the top of the water and the wind's blowing a little bit, man oh man, it's game on over some trees and brush or whatever you want to fish it over. Other thing we've been doing is throwing a Cinco. Again, that's Sexy Shad on a Cinco with a Gamma Gatsu Weedless. Really like that bait. This is absolutely the, my favorite Cinco rod that I've found. It's Vertus by Jewel. I got this from Extreme Outdoors about three, four weeks ago. Absolutely love this rod. Paired it up with a Stratic CI 4 Plus from Shimano. Guys, I can't say enough about this rod combo. It, for fishing a Cinco, absolutely unbelievable. Just love this thing. So that's what we did over the weekend. It was a good weekend, had a lot of fun. Fished the tournament uh, anglers in action on Sunday. Like I say, before the day really even got started, we had 10 pounds of fish in the boat in two fish. Really thought we were off to do well. And then just, it, the bite just ended once the wind died and it was just done. So anyways, that's the way it goes, tournament life fishing. But hey, it's been just a, it's been a really good couple of weeks on Table Rock, looking to see what this weekend holds. So like us, if you like what we got and what we're doing here, give us a like, follow us on Facebook. Thank you guys. Have a blessed night. We'll see you this weekend out on the lake.